Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X3. I am Decepticon Rampage, and here we are, ready to go to Volt Catfish. It's just strange. Like I said, all those intros are just kind of bizarre. It's like you have you had like the last one, which was kind of cool, uh, which I can't. Um, who was it? There was a specific character, the so whoever we just beat. I don't even remember who it was. Okay, so optional boss in this one. Go down this little spot here. And hit this capsule. All right. And then prepare yourselves for some awesome freaking music. This is probably like one of my favorite um, music pieces in this game. Uh, I think you can also use... Oh, I guess I probably don't have it already. I, I assume it's the... Oh, God damn it. I assume it's the Triad Thunder. You can actually power that those elevators back up and just ride them. Um, I think there's two levels. Okay. So, anybody guess who this is? He actually gets uh, his own little stage and everything, so... It's probably not Bite. That's right, it's Vile. Like, he, he, he. So this portion is pretty easy. Oh. You know, it's just a matter of jumping over him. I mean, this would be the kind of thing where it would have been super simple to do if you ever got to fight him in a room with walls in the first game. That was not the case, though. And he just like uh, bit also does feature a weakness. Uh, however, it's it's on himself, not on his right armor. But he's he's none too difficult. Um, he pretty much just follows specific patterns, so he's pretty easy to avoid. Switch, and his his weakness is the Ray Splasher. Oops, I missed. Yeah. And that he pretty much does, because, I mean, he does come back in Mega Man X8, so... I'm not for sure how, because I've never actually played that game. I've never owned it. Okay, so... Then you have, I believe, 60 seconds to... 50 or 60 seconds, one of the two. 50 seconds. To get the hell out of here. Thankfully, they give you some health, so... And an extra life! Yay! Damn it. And then of course they have to put these stupid gates. I hate them. I hate them, Gregory. I hate them all. Alright, now you gotta climb into another shower. 
I mean, ultimately, you have plenty of time. I don't even think that those go to... I don't even think those are bottomless holes. It just takes time to have to climb out of them again. Alright, so that was that was vile. Ow. I hate those laser gates. I never seem to understand exactly how they work. Get out of my face. I wasn't sure if the thing was going to go down again. I don't know why it would, since I already defeated the thing. Oh, I guess I can make this thing go up. Herp! Why has he turned around the wrong way? That's kind of weird. Hiya! Alright, but yeah, um, I, I, I've always liked Vile. I mean, yeah, he... I, I hated him in the first game just because I had to fight him and you know he was that that first that first battle against him is so irritating just because you can't fucking beat him all right so up here is the heart tank if you're careful about this start bashing a as soon or the jump button as soon as you uh, are as soon as you collected it uh, then it's pretty easy to survive. As you, as you can see there. Alright, I think this is the shaft we want to follow all the way up. Because we'll have a, another secret. Yep. Alright, so... I can remember I never had a freaking clue what this thing was. Alright, so... Use the gravity well. And charge up the weapon. You gotta wait for that. Okay. Then you get... Then it will be carried up. I don't know how that, yeah, I mean, gravity, you know, reversing gravity, but whatever. It's still, it's still kind of random. And I believe this should be the armor, yep. Yeah, it's the typical fair, you know, you, it just reduces the damage. And then there's this little shield that appears on you every time you get hit. Um, I never really noticed if it actually did anything. I assume that it probably just additionally prevents you from taking uh, an additional amount of damage. That would be my guess. Ow. Get out of my face. Okay, so yeah, this should... I think we got everything on as well. Hey, look, we finally get a fight and bite. And which, specifically, he does have a, uh, I mean, like, those little things, they actually, prov they actually are, like, pull you off the wall. You have to kind of, like, dash back into the wall to, uh, to be able to stay on there. So it can be kind of a pain, because he does cause a lot of damage, too. Ow. Yeah. But I mean, that's pretty much the extent of his uh, attack pattern. I mean, he doesn't really do much else beyond that. Alright, I gotta make sure I'll watch his health so I can manage to hit him before... Uh, before he takes... Alright. And his is the Ray... His is, oddly enough, also Ray Splasher, so... Yeah. The victory is yours. He, he definitely seems... Uh, he... Based on his design, he seems like he should be like a brutish character, but he, he seems very very polite for being a brute. Oh no, I guess we do still have one more upgrade to get in this in this stage. Which is another reason we needed a right armor, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely not the frog. Never the frog. There's one time in the whole freaking game when it's actually useful. You could maybe argue a second time, but that's pushing it. Yay, we got the last E-tank. Or the sub-tank. The tank that holds energy. That's not an energy tank. Oh, double shot. Hell yeah. Whoops. Going the wrong direction. Ow. I hate those stupid robots. They're such a pain. They're everywhere. They're everywhere I don't want them to be. Ugh. Here we are, Volt Catfish. Uh, oh, that's not what I needed. What thing? Oh, Tornado Fang. There we go. Like, what weapon do I need to use? I don't remember. Volt Catfish. Ow, I don't know why he didn't shoot. Ow, I keep running into him for some reason. How <laughs> the sound that all the all the tornado things make. I'm using it at an alarming rate, but I really don't care. Bam. Hey, no! Volt Catfish, you're so silly. Okay, so now we have the Triad Thunder. And I think I want to stop off before I hit the next, the last stage, the last Maverick stage, in fact, um, to get a couple of upgrades. Because we have now everything we need to get the two upgrades in Tunnel Rhino stage. So, I think I'll do that. I think this episode, I mean, we're going to finish off the Maverick hunt, the Mavericks, and then, uh, and then we'll be on, and then pick up all the, uh, remaining upgrades, and so we get from this one will actually help with that, so. Yeah. Turn around, Okay, so if I if remember I mentioned before that we needed upgrades for this. Oddly enough, that's what that attack does when it's charged up. And it makes the rocks fall from the spot where they're hanging. I don't know how that really has any correlation, but uh, I, I just roll with it. It made sense to someone at some point, so. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Because questions make people's thinker boxes hurt. Oh no, do we have to fight the underground tunneling robot again? Oh no, I guess not. If that was the right room, I don't remember for sure if that was or not. That might have been where we fought, uh, Bite? Possibly? Or not Bite. They keep getting their names mixed up for some reason. I don't know why. I know better than that. Ah, I hate that it takes so long to shoot. 
like that second shot is like why why does this take so much longer than the first one all right so just like before it's we got we have a we have a giant rock so we have to use electricity on it not for sure how that how that's supposed to work but you know again not asking not going to be asking those questions and so we finally get the head upgrade which Oh, excuse me, I had to have a drink of beverage. Um, that, this up, uh, this one is, in my opinion, probably the most useful head upgrade in the game. Or in any of the games. Because this one actually gives you, like, uh, displays a map of, of each stage. Like, when you enter the stage, it will show you the approximate location of each of the items in that stage. And on the stage select screen, it will also tell you which stages have, you know, what you have collected in each stage. I will show that off after we exit the stage here. Now that we've collected those two little bits. And then we can go out of here. Now have all of our, we have all of our armor. Okay, so, so if you see on there, it says life up, which is your heart tank. Uh, S tank, which would be sub tank, and then head P, so the head parts. Um, we have all the stuff in Neon Tiger. Um, we do not have the chain K, which is the uh, right armor, and the question marks are denote one of the pink capsules, which we don't care about. Then uh, obviously there's one in there. Uh, we still have a heart tank to get in B Blizzard Buffalo, and there is a hidden uh, pink capsule in. Blast Hornet, we have all of the items in Volt Catfish, and then we have a Ride Armor, and a Heart Tank, and a Pink Capsule in the final stage, Crush Crayfish, who also has kick-ass music. Okay, so th this will again show you the approximate locations. So they're all like right at the beginning. So th this is a, this is honestly a good stage to revisit if you need to. Oh wait, I don't need that yet. I'll, I'll take it right now, but there's actually an item right right away here. But we don't use this to get in there. Um, no. Bum, 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 bum. But uh, anyway, on the on uh, the subject of the music, uh, if you watched my Ratchet and Clank, the first Ratchet and Clank game uh, let's play that I did, yay, we got another right armor, um, and our right armor is still here. Okay, that worked out. Um, I used this in a speed up section, and I think it, I think it actually worked fantastically. All right, so if you just stay on the side there. That's where the where the the other thing is. Yeah, you know, really simple. Oh, and then there's also this is where the uh, capsule is. I don't know which one it is, but oh, I don't know why I'm using that. Get off there. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I love I love the music in the Indian stage. It's like that, the vile theme. I, I, there's a couple other good ones. I mean, the Tunnel Rhino one is kind of it, it's not too bad. I thought there was a I thought there was like a hidden spot in in among there somewhere. Ow! Get in the hole. I have I seem to have issues with the ladders in this game. Oh, I think there was hidden health up there too. Probably thinking of uh, Mega Man X2. There was a stage that had a that had a health thing. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I forgot. Right above that spot, there's actually a. 
a an area that has two extra lives. So if I thought about it, I could have gone up there, but I don't really need them. Oh, you see that there was two there were two doors on the bottom. Do, 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 do. Oh no. Get off of me. Sliding across the ground again. Alright, Triad Thunder for the win. Now, Crush Crayfish seems like he does a significant amount of damage, and to be perfectly honest, the uh, the Triad Thunder is it's kind of weird the way it hits, with or the way it connects. So you, a lot of times you end up taking damage by using it. So, ow! But yeah, it, it, it's really kind of odd to try to hit him with sometimes. Ah, sorry, my thirst was needing of quenching. Delicious, delicious iced tea. Shout out to iced tea right there. Not the wrapper, the beverage. Just to make that clear. Yeah, spinning blade. Uh, that one, that is actually the weapon that works on Neon Tiger, uh, which can be helpful since he is, since he does spend a lot of time on the wall. Um, it can uh, actually hit him where it can be difficult to hit him. Like if he's above you, you can, like jump up and shoot one, and then it'll usually spin back around and hit him. So, not a bad way to do it. Powerful new battle body. Whatever we do. Oh no, I wonder who it could be for then. Oh, how'd they ever guess? It can't possibly be. I always wonder where they come up with the like point such and such and whatnot. It's it's kind of bizarre sometimes. Like where where do they even get these? It's like <clears throat> I'm sure there's actually some kind of correlation, but it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I see it all the time on uh, on other stuff like uh, I know like the, some of the Gundam series are, are uh, will have that all the time where it'll be like point such and such point one two three four five yeah so, something something akin to that and it's like kind of funny. I think so anyway. Oh man, our one upgrade. I wonder where it could be. Could it be that spot where we couldn't get to before? I believe this one might be our last... Uh... One of our last things here. Uh, I wonder if I can use the hawk. I like this one with the double missile launchers. No, we cannot. Okay. No, I gotta go. Make it go away. Ow. Yay. Let's go with Chimera then. Why isn't why isn't it called the sea? Everything else makes sense, but N doesn't make any sense for Chimera. Chimera? Hi, Nero. Yay. And that's the final heart tank. Yay. Yay, eight heart tanks. Okay, we have a right armor to get. 
And that's everything. And that was in Toxic Seahorses stage. There's a couple different ways to do this. I I prefer the easier method. Um, I think I did end up getting it the other way the last time I was playing this, um, but it wasn't my preferred method. Uh, if you notice, those guys are actually also different. Uh, they must have also been part of the upgrade system that that we denied the supplies for. Yeah, I got a double on there. A double untaunt. That doesn't actually make any sense, but I liked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so just the same thing. It's um, we actually do need the oh, what do you call it? Um, well, I don't know. I'm not for sure if you do actually need the frog to be able to get in there. I think you do. I want to say you do. But I could be mistaken on that. I can't remember if, if it is totally necessary. Oh, I'm going to blow the thing up anyway. We'll give the frog its time to shine. Yay! Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. It doesn't even walk, it just hops. But it does have secret sub, uh, you know, torpedoes, so that's something. Wee! Okay. Wee! Hoppy, hoppy, ow. Yeah, I don't think technically you do have to do that. If you want to do it the other way, and I think because it is possible you can go and you can uh, well, that's not the best way to illustrate it, but you can you can like jump off the water, but there's a much easier way to do it, and I'm going to show you right here. You grab the frost shield. And I think it's right about here. You do that, it makes a uh, crystal that just floats, the uh, yeah, ice crystal that floats to the top. And I'm not far enough over, not even by a long shot. Okay, it must be right about here then. We're going to go with right here. Oh, come on. Get out of here. I like the little bubbles it makes. doop doop doo Yep, that should be good. Not good. Yay! Yeah, we got the kangaroo. Which, if you see the kangaroo, it doesn't look like a kangaroo. I didn't realize. Well, yeah, it doesn't really look like a kangaroo. I would have actually flipped the kangaroo and the chimera. I would have flipped their names because, yeah. Anyway, now off to the. Oh, well, oh damn it! I should have waited. Hold that thought. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and stop right there, and I'm going to pause, uh, and that will bring this episode to a close. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Mega Man X3. I've been Decepticon Rampage, and we will see you guys in the next one as we uh, probably finish the game. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.